Okay. So, hello, tell me who you are, where you come from, and some of the issues that matter for you and your community, please. Okay. Uh, I'm Ruth O'Neill. I'm from Columbia, Missouri, St. Francis Catholic Worker in Columbia. And we, uh, well, we do a lot of work on a lot of different types of issues. Um, we, uh, we do a lot of hospitality work, and we also do a lot of... Um, try to um, make our voice known regarding things regarding oh um, issues of, of war, immigration, poverty. I mean, it kind of runs the gamut. Uh, most recently, um, we have um, done some part in some vigiling in some of my community members in Kansas City about the new nuclear weapons plant. Um, we're also gearing up to do some work about the fact that we are near Whiteman Air Force Base where the, uh, they're setting up one of the new programs for flying the drones over Afghanistan and Pakistan. So we're going to probably be doing some work with that. Um, and then we do a lot of work with uh, trying to raise a level of awareness about the folks in our community who are uh, homeless and hungry and who live in poverty. Do you have a soup kitchen? Do you feed people as we well? Have, we have a soup kitchen. Um, it, we are open every night and we have a lot of volunteer groups that help us on, with on that. On average, how many people do you feed? Between, um, usually between 50 and 65, although it's gone over 100 occasionally, but usually it's around 60. And have, you, have you seen an increase due to economic factors here? Some. It's, so. uh, with us, we have a lot of regulars, and so we have people we see all month, and we see people we see part of the month, depending on um, where they are in their food stamp, food pantry, sure. accessing cycle, and those sorts of things. Um, but consistently more than we, I would say, we used to do 40 to 50, um, and then go up, spike different times of the month, uh, and now it's more like 50 to 60, 55, 60 times. So How many community different. members do you have? We have, um, I have to think, because they're not all here full time. <laughs> We have nine community members, one one of whom lives in Guatemala part of the year, um, and we uh, have the rest of us do a lot of work both in soup kitchen and we have two hospitality houses. We have an emergency shelter for women and we have um, a shelter for, for men. Right. We do a lot of mental have a lot of mental ill. Yeah. Well, that's a challenge in itself. So, yeah. yeah. Is that an area then that you sort of specialize in mentally ill? We we spend a lot of time and we kind of gravitate toward that. And those are the folks that come to us. They're not able to a lot of times do well in the other or um, traditional shelters. Right. Okay. Great. And um, more locally, as far as um, the people. The issues locally, what are some of those for you guys? We have, um, well, you know, we have issues regarding immigration. We have issues dealing with um, homeless veterans. We have a veterans hospital, so we have a lot of vets coming through town. Um, because, you know, unfortunately the military, after someone is injured or traumatized, they can't keep up. Great. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you.